Hi, I'm Craig Ratu, Landon Ratu's dad, and I am an engineer, and today I want to talk about 3D printing. I hope you enjoy. Hey! Ah! Didn't see you there. What are you doing? Just printing Super Mario on my printer. This is a 3D printing presentation. I did not know that. That's okay. Regular printing is sort of like 3D printing. Let me explain. A regular printer like this uses ink to print on a piece of paper just like this. There's a little robot inside that moves back and forth and puts all the ink on the paper as it moves through the printer. And boom! You get a Mario. This is a 3D printer. It may look a little different than a regular printer, but kind of works on the same concept. But they come in all different sizes and shapes. Instead of ink, this printer uses melted plastic. And instead of paper, it puts the plastic on this build platform. The robot moves in a bunch of different directions, up, down, left, right, and everything in between. Instead of just a Mario on a piece of paper, it makes a Mario layer by layer with the melted plastic. So instead of a Mario like this, it can make a Mario like this. For a Mario this size, it may take hours or days, but the 3D printer does all the work. Roll the super fast footage of the Mario being made. But how does the printer know what to print? Good question. Just like you find a picture of Mario to print, in order to print a Mario on a 3D printer, you find a 3D model file. And then you need a special program that converts this 3D model into a language that the printer understands. Then once it's on the printer, this is the plastic that gets pushed through this tube that goes down to the printhead and it melts it at the end. The printhead is actually a lot like a hot glue gun where you have a very hot tip and glue, and it melts the glue through the hot tip. And when the print's done, all you have to do is take your handy dandy scraping tool and scrape it off the platform. So once it's done, you just have a completed Mario. You can print it again, you can make a bigger one or a smaller one. Well, what are printers used for other than just printing Mario? Well, I'm an engineer, and when I design something on the computer, I want to know what it looks like and feels like. So I send it to the 3D printer, and I can hold it in my hand. There are 3D printers that can make rockets, houses, food, and even body parts. printing has been around for a while, longer than your teachers, 
but most recently 3D printing is only a couple hundred bucks so you can make your own Mario's. Well it sounds like I need to get my own 3D printer to 3D print my own Mario. Here, you can have mine. Thanks. 